Hi friends, today we will be making a video on how to create a small concept design in Rhino of a building project. Uh, so we are just going to learn how do we create a image like this from Rhino, right? So let's get started. So we will open a new file, file, new, we will go with large objects and millimeters, okay, go in perspective, right? create some layers so first is site okay and we'll go with a simple polygon start from po start will be zero then we'll go let's say 30 meters by 20 meters and then I'll press tab okay and then close C enter right so I've got the base of the building now I'll just say extrude curve actually solid extrude curve straight and then I'll just give a base of uh, let's say 300 now it's in a wireframe mode so I'll just give a shaded view minus 300 now next step would be to create a box so I'll just create a box uh, to be precise I'll select this curve say an offset and I'll give an offset of uh, 3 meters and I'll extrude this curve solid extrude curve straight 6000 6 meters tall now next step would be to get the twist in the shape so it's a simple twist so I'll say move edge okay move edge you can also go in solid solid edit tools edges move edge okay and then I'll move this one roughly around a 5 meter height right so you get this shape okay next step would be to explode this block we select the lower base select this two and say join enter okay and I'll delete this one right now what I'll do is select this curve okay and offset this curve inside by a uh, hundred and I'll click on this now what I need to do is create glazing so I'll just go over here and say glazing double click on this layer and I will say surface extrude curve straight ok now the other thing we need is the mullions so I'll click on this I'll click once and say mullions okay and what it'll do is create a box with the height till here and I will say select this and say array transform array along a curve okay select the curve so it's just the face of this and then I'll set a distance let's say 2000 we will get 12 mullions which is good enough so we got the mullions in this direction now same thing we will repeat on the other side select the object as the path that's it now what we need to do is split these surfaces uh, this solids based on this I'll say loft this curve and this curve J enter ok and I'll got this surface select the objects using right click select objects on this layer so all the objects on this layer will get selected then I'll deselect this one and say boolean boolean split and then I'll select this surface and all the upper members are deselected 
now uh, after this is deselected what I'll do is select this surface and say split and delete the inner member right right click on this and say shade rendered view 